and welcome to Module 4 of our Accessibility Training. This video focuses on understanding the importance of making tables accessible, understanding proper table use, and how to make tables accessible overall. As previously mentioned in Module 1, the content you create should be content that can be presented in different ways without losing information or structure. An example of this is having a simple page layout on your site. Tables can often be used to organize content and data, making it easier for screen readers or screen magnifiers to read the information presented on the screen if done correctly. It is important to know when to use tables. Only use tables when presenting data that can be conveyed in re related rows and columns. Do not use tables to format text. If you must use a table, here are a few tips to follow to make your tables accessible. 1. Use proper column headings with tables. This provides context for your reader, which, as previously mentioned, can be vital for screen readers. 2. Use tables to present data. Tables on pages are often referred to as data tables for this reason. Do not use tables to lay out or structure your text. If you want to separate your text into columns, use the column feature in CMS or the column block in CU theme. 3. Use a simple table structure. For example, including a table inside of a table could be confusing for most readers. Or, avoid blank cells where possible. Blank cells can include blank rows and columns. You can include none or NA instead of nothing to avoid having an empty cell. Five, do not use images of tables. As mentioned in module three, it is important to avoid using images or screenshots that contain text. This makes it more difficult for screen readers. This applies to tables as well. Six, consider adding captions or description to your tables. This can also be a summary of the information presented in the table. And seven, if you're familiar with HTML, check for missing tags to ensure that the table is as legible as possible for screen readers. Note how this table has headings over each column. These are your column headings. Additionally, the main heading at the top is clearly legible over the table and provides context for the text in the table. These features make the content easier to interpret for all users, but especially those who do not have the visual context of the table layout. In summary, in this module, you learned that tables can be used to organize certain content and data, making it easier for screen readers or screen magnifiers to read the content. You also learned to only use tables to present data that can be best conveyed in relating rows and columns, and not to format text.